Hello engineers, this is Chris Control Automation. Yeah, um, today we are going to look at a single start and stop control circuit, okay? Using a single push button. Yeah, um, in my other video, the first video I did about this control circuit, I used um, two open, uh, two, uh, two contacts, that is open and enclosed contacts on the same push button, okay? Yeah. An open side here, then a closed side here on the same push button, single push button. Okay, yeah, this side. But this time around, in this tutorial or on this diagram, we are only going to use uh, one open contact. This side, only this side, on the same push button. We are not going to include this side. Okay, yeah. And if you remember, on the uh, first video too, I use four relays: R1, R2, R3, R4. Four relays. Okay, but in the second, in this video. This particular video, we are only going to use three uh, three relays, R1, R2, and then R3. How the relays are being arranged, it doesn't matter. You can also interchange it. You can bring this one here. But I only uh, got it this way when I was designing the circuit. Yeah. So I could have arranged it. The R2 will be here. The R2 will be in this line. Then the R3 will be in this line. But it doesn't matter. Okay. Just look at the connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as I said, we are only going to use... Uh, just a single open contact okay on the push button okay yeah and then three um three relays so let's get started the operation so as we now we are coming to um turn on the bulb or either a motor uh any equipment at all okay any machine at all whether a motor a lamp um whatever yeah so let's start by pressing the start Switch button so when you press this start switch button okay our hand is still there it's like this but our handle our handle will still be there so we have we press it when you press it okay this contact okay the open contact it closes it closes okay when it closes current begins to flow through this the close contact and then the close contact on the r2 and then close contact on this r3 to energize the r1 so now the r1 has what has energized Okay, let's see what happens. When the R1 energizes, it closes this contact. Okay, it closes this contact, opens this contact, and then closes this contact too. So when this contact, okay, closes, current flows through the line, through the closed contact, through the closed contact on the outer ray, okay, this outer ray to energize the R2. Okay, the moment the R2 energizes, this side closes. Okay, this side also closes. And then this side opens. They are all contact on the R2. So when the R2 energizes, this side closes, this side closes, this side opens. Let's see what happens next. When this side closes, I only um, connected a bulb, okay, to this side. So that when this side closes, eh, when the R2 energizes and this, this contact closes, the bulb comes on, okay? It could be a contactor or another relay. I can even bring a relay here to control something. Or a contactor, whatever. But I simply uh, added uh, or connected a bulb or a lamp. Yeah, yeah, just to indicate our action. Yeah. So when this R two R two energizes, it closes here to, uh, to let the bulb the bulb comes on. Let's see here too. This side opens, right? Sorry, this side closes. This side closes. This side opens. Okay. It means so when we press the push button, our hand is still on the push button, right? We've not removed our hand. Our hand is still there. Okay. So now, um, let's uh, let's okay. Let's see something here. So when this R one also energized, okay, it opened the side. There was something here. That's all. That's that is why I want to repeat this this uh, this this side this section. When R one energized, it energized it opened the side, okay, and then when the R two also energized, it closed the side, and then this side became what a closed line. This line, it's not a closed line because, uh, oh, sorry, this side is uh, it's a closed line, but here is an open, 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 open contact. This side because the R1, our hand is still on the R1 and it's still energized, so it means that here is what here is open and then here is closed. Okay, so now let's remove our hand from the push button. We are removing our hand, see, so immediately we remove our hand, this contact, okay goes back to its open state this contact it goes back to its open state okay now the moment it goes back it means that this line is going to break 
and then the other one will de-energize to go off. As soon as it de-energizes, it closes back this contact. So now this contact is a closed line now, as I was saying, saying it earlier. Now, the time this R1 open, uh, energized, it opened here. Now that we have removed our hand from, our hands from the push button, it has opened, breaking the, breaking the, the uh, current from flowing through this, uh, this circuit, okay, this side. So now the R1 has de-energized, it has gone off, closing back this contact, okay? So this contact has moved back to its normal, its normal closed position. So now we have a closed cruise line like this, okay? And as the R2 is also energized, okay, this side is opened, this side is opened, and then this side is closed. So when the R1 went off, this side opened, opened back, went back to its open state. This side came back to its closed state. This side went back to its open state. So this side too, because this side is there, okay, this side has energized, uh, sorry, has closed to still get this R1 remain what energized okay so still get it energized so it is a hold on on this contact so now the r1 is off this side is closed let's um press the push button for the second time okay when it presses this side closes closes back again this side closes let's see what happens now that r1 r2 r2 is still on this side is open so even if you press it the second time current will flow through here when the current gets here because this side is opened this side is also open. Current cannot flow through this contact to get it energized again. Now it will find its way here. Now we have a closed contact here. Closed contact here because this one is still on. Okay. So current will flow through to energize this R3. The moment this R3 energizes, it opens this contact, open this contact to reset the release. Okay. Yeah. So this 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 contact will open and then the R2 will de-energize. And then the bulb will go off. That is that. Okay. Yeah, that is that. This contact is there. This contact is there to prevent the R3 from going off. When you press it, let me explain why it is there. I brought it eh, so that when you press the, 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 the push button for the second time and then the R3 energizes. Okay. This side will close. Okay. It will close. Okay. So when it closes, now we have a, we have, we still have a, we have a closed line here. Okay. When it closes, Okay, when this one energizes, this side closes, okay? But when this one energizes, it opens this contact, okay? It opens this contact. So assuming if this contact was not there, and this uh, contact opens to, to de-energize uh, the R2, okay? The moment the R2 de-energizes, this side opens back. So it means that if this one was not there, as soon as this one de-energizes, and then this contact opens back, this R3 is, is going to go off. It will go off even if our hand is still on to go off because as soon as it energized to de-energize this contact uh, to open this contact to de-energize this R2 the moment the R2 energized it opened this contact so it it went to go off so I brought so I brought this contact in parallel with the open uh, the R2 contact so that when I press it and this one energizes so this one will, will de-energize okay to open here but because this one is is closed so the R2 will still remain on. Until I remove my hand, it will never go off. So that is the main reason why I brought this out there. Okay, yeah. So now let's uh, look at uh, let's look at the wiring. Okay, yeah. Let's look at the wiring. So, so now this is um, the wiring. Okay, yeah. This is the wiring. So let's begin by um, pressing the push button. First, let me switch off the supply. Yeah. So let's press it, okay, and see the the uh, the operation, okay. Yeah, I've seen it. As I remove my hand, my uh, the R two is still on. Now press it the second time, okay. It goes off. So let me begin the explanation. Uh, let me do it step by step. You see this one. So when I press it, okay, the R one would come on the R2 will also come on okay yeah my and my hand will still be on the push button let's see the R1 and R2 they are on but when I take off my hand the R1 will go off remaining the R2 have you seen it yeah so now that the R1 has the energized okay it has closed this side this session it has closed this session 
okay and now that the R2 is also on that also will close the session so now this session is a closed line this session is a closed line now now that the R2 is still on this section okay this section is a closed line now okay yeah it's a closed line now so um as we remove our hand from the fish button, okay this side opened the energy is the r1 this side became closed back it went back to its closed position so now we have a straight line okay we have a straight line when the r1 the energy is when you remove our hand from the push button this one went off so it means that this side opened okay this side opened and then this the r1 the energy is okay it de energized it went off and then this contact became closed again it now in the normal closed position so now we have a closed line a closed contact closed contact okay so now let's press the second uh, the push button for the second time okay when you press it hmm? when you press it this r3 okay would energize because it's a closed line when you press it no current will flow through here because this side is open this r3 is on so it has opened this side okay so now when you press it current will flow through here Go through this contact to this contact to energize the outer and then it will reset to open the side to to reset the out then the bulb will go off so let's see let's see let's let's see the outer raising it raising it so now let's connect the bulb okay uh this bulb that i connected here yeah so let's connect the bulb okay and press it okay i've written it uh -huh. i've written it. the bulb has gone off right yes on and off on and off on and off on and off so this is just a simple uh start and stop control circuit using only single push button that is the open side only just open side and then three release yeah so this is um this is it okay yeah so see you in my next tutorials okay don't forget to follow the page okay yeah follow the page and then or you subscribe to my youtube channel yeah for more videos yeah see you in my next tutorials thank you